Mama June from not to hot to broke and in a crisis. It's season six of Mama June's reality show and watchers, Honey Boo Boo and her sister are enraged at Mama June. Lana can stay here. Ah! Oh, Lana is not staying here. Get that through your thick skull. I'm her mama now. Mama June is known for being the fat, loud, farting mama from Toddlers and Tierras. And then after that, she's known as the loud, farting mama from the reality show Honey Boo Boo. You're just not ashamed of the bad smells that come out of any of you. Well, hello, don't you fart? And then she went through that weight loss transformation, and then there was the drug stuff. And then she got better, and now she's once again going through a family crisis. And that's the name of her reality show, where they're apparently in a crisis like all the time, and usually the crisis is surrounding Mama June. You've got to give somebody a chance. People do change, and I think that oh, people- that, Do they, yeah. though? There's always some type of odd drama on this show. I like to watch it, but I don't like to cover it on YouTube because they ruthlessly, WECV like, ruthlessly copyright strikes me so hard whenever I play like two, three, four second clips of their program. So I don't want to spend so much time on this video because it always goes to waste. But one part in the recent episode is pissing people off, especially Honey Boo Boo or Alana. And she is confirmed confronting her mom for stealing all of her money that she worked for because if you remember, Mama June basically used Honey Boo Boo from a very, very young age to make a lot of money, tons of money. Well, she used it on certain substances. Why you gotta be like that? Let me pull out my lid. You wanted to go get on crack cocaine. Along with men to partake in those certain substances together. And how long have you known him? I met him at the rehab. Convict too, isn't he? Yes. And after all these years of Honey Boo Boo working on that stage, Mama June getting shows because of Honey Boo Boo, she is only left with $33,000. Like to be really honest, if you think about it, mama, what the hell is $33,000? Well, Alana was recently on Dancing with the Stars and Mama June was apparently controlling all of Alana's bank account and somehow all that money after all these years ain't there. What happened to the other Dancing with the Stars money? Good tactic right here. Look as confused as possible. So then they think you didn't spend any of the money on extracurricular activities for yourself and your boyfriends. She's doing extremely good. Even I'm starting to believe that money wasn't even a thing. Like Honey Boo Boo just danced around. You know, she did all those pageants for the fun of it. I spent her this is gonna help me well. Cause I know they're, they're very fun. Cause this ain't all of it, Gene. Well, that didn't work. $125. Hello, editing Michelle here. Sorry to interrupt, but I had to chime in and say, through the video, for some reason, I say $33 and $120. I'm not too sure why, probably because I'm hungry, but I wanted to make sure nobody was confused throughout the video. It's thousand dollars. I repeat, it's $120,000 or $33,000. Sorry for the confusion. It's supposedly the starting rate for how much celebrities get paid to dance around on stage on dance with the stars and Alana was also doing the masked singer I, hopped off the plane at LAX with the dream in my card again. I couldn't find a definite price for what they get paid but the only number that I saw floating around a couple times was two hundred fifty thousand dollars I'm sure it changes depending on the celebrity status and her being a reality TV star is not gonna be the same as uh, Lizzo showing up on this show, but she still probably got paid more than $33,000, which means, let's just do a little bit of math here, Mama June was using her daughter's money and a lot of it. 33,000, that's it for Mass Singer and Dancing with the Stars. There should at least be six figures in that account. Something's not adding up. You know what is adding up? quite a bit. Uh, I just looked up Mama June's past history, like her past problems, and she spent $1 million on the rich people drug. So I'm just gonna take a guess and say that uh, some of that money probably went into that. And I'm not making fun of someone who has a drug addiction, but I am making fun of kind of angry, but mostly critiquing maybe a better word for the situation. I'm not personally upset by the situation, but I do feel for someone like her. I'm critiquing a mother that would use her daughter 
to get money for drugs while her daughter worked since she was what, six or seven and only has $33 to her name when she's trying to get to college and that's gonna cover her for maybe a year? It needs to be found right now ASAP because uh-uh, this is not gonna work. $33,000 sounds like a lot of money. But in the real world, if you know money, honey, that's not anything. And when you think about that, especially when you're talking about college, and when you think about that, she wasn't the one putting herself into these beauty contests. She was like five. She was put in them and egged on by Mama June, who probably thought, wow, my babe is really into saying skitties and stuff, and she's gonna be someone that sticks out on stage. And then everybody thought it was funny and then ran with it. She is a pop culture icon. Who are you gonna support for president? Mm, Barack Obama. Just the other day, Honey Boo Boo endorsed me. And Mama June raked in all the money while Honey Boo Boo worked, and she got all these opportunities because of Alana. And then she spent it all on stupid things. My money is somewhere. I think we know where. Gone. Not here anymore. Forever, For like you'll never see that money again. Sold the house for crap. But you know what, Alana, in the past, at least your mom has said that the stupidest thing she's ever done was spend a million dollars or more. I don't know if she's the best with numbers on drugs. In the articles I read about Mama June, or Shannon, which is her legal name, there's a quote that says, I don't remember like a lot of that time frame, just bits and pieces and stuff. But the biggest, stupidest thing I've done is spend that much money on drugs. Mama June said she became an addict during her relationship with her then boyfriend, Gino Doak. Doak, I'm not too sure how to say his name. You guys know by now I say everything wrong. But she would get arrested with him in March 2019 for drug possession in the good state of Alabama. Oh my God. And then eventually they would attend rehab together. And then shortly after that, break up in September. I've just about had it with June. I'm ready to get me the next ticket out of here. According to Mama June, she, uh, partook in so much of that white stuff, it started to impair her vision. And that was a sign of her to finally stop, of course, according to Mama June. But she also said that she would be spending at least $3,000, not a week, not every couple of days, a day on drugs. I think about a lot of things I could do with that money. My husband tells me all the time that I can't dwell on it. Well, she's not because speed it up to 2024, as you can see to the clips that I previously showed you, things are a little different. In the new episodes, it's time for Alana to get to college. I think education would benefit her. And especially, I don't think anyone in her family really went to college. I'm not too sure. Don't take that as a fact. Main point, I think college will really benefit her. And $33,000 isn't enough. This is only gonna pay her first year. But Mama June's not blaming drugs. It didn't even get brought up. She's not saying that she was irresponsible with spending. No, where did the money go? Well, according to Mama June, I can't help there's not more money because taxes were took out automatically 50%. Yeah, that's right. Taxes. Bull poop. I'm not no tax person, but I know damn good and well, no state is taking 50% worth of taxes out of every check. Unless you're in the good old state of California. I'm just kidding. It's not that high here, but my God, does it feel like it. Sometimes I get comments saying, you YouTubers should get a real job. And then I always wonder why the am I going every year and paying a hell of a lot in taxes if I don't have a real job? Anyway, that has nothing to do with this. California be taking them though, just like Mama June be taking her daughter's money. But according to Mama June, she spent it all on her honey boo boo child. There is some money that was spent every time that you needed something, clothes or whatever, cause Rue like hair appointments. But from the looks of every single person's face in that room, nobody believes her. I don't believe her. Do you believe her? Let me know. Because is this, is this selling to you, Slappy? Do you believe her, Slappy? He don't believe her. Especially since there's interviews and articles of her saying that she spent a million dollars on drugs. She seems like she likes to shop a lot. I don't think it stopped at, at the drugs. She seems like those people who they luckily win the whole lottery and then they spend it all within a few days because they're buying golden chicken wings with golden dipping sauce. No service. Okay, sir, I got the triple threat gourmet sauces right here. Platinum mesquite barbecue, foie gras supreme, and chipotle hollandaise all in diamond encrusted containers. Oh, yeah. But then, the weirdest thing, Mama June tries to kind of flip it all around on Alana. You have been taking care of your own self, paying your own bills since she was the age of 12. 
I didn't really understand what was going on here in this part. Is she saying, well, you've been making money since you were 12, so that's where all the money's going because you've been working since you were 12. You've been spending money since you were 12, you know? And since I wasn't around, you've been taking care of yourself and paying rent. And you've been doing a good job at it. Okay, thanks. But also, what? Uh, this fires Alana up as it should because she had to take care of herself because Mama June failed as a mother and one of her daughters, Mama June's daughters, had to step up to the plate and take care of Alana. Tommy, Alana can stay here. Ah! Alana is not staying here. Get that through your thick skull. Why would I let her come over here and stay? I'm her mama now. But it didn't seem like she was getting any of the money from what Honey Boo Boo was doing. And Mama June got all of it and spent it on God knows what else. And while she was spending the money, she's up here with the boyfriend that uh, essayed little Alana. Did y'all forget about that? She was drugging it up. What kind of parental manipulation is this? I didn't spend anything of that. You spend that money on something that you wanted to do with it. Because I didn't have no say so where the hell that money went. Well, a Alana has questions, as does everyone else, because now it's all of our business. And you know what? Her mommy, Miss Mama June, is not helping out the stigma that stage parents get, right? She is what people think people do that put their kids into Hollywood. Pretty much throw them into Hollywood while the parent spends all their money, doesn't work, and then does drugs. What kind of parent actually makes their kid pay for their well-being, like their life, lights, water, food. So I don't know about the ins and outs and technicalities of how much, you know, how the money is supposed to be spent or, or who gets the money when it comes to parents putting their kids like on YouTube or, you know, on TLC, who gets the money. But I know that there's laws starting to come about because it's such a problem. A lot of these little young YouTube kids that are now grown up or part of family channels, you know, all these wholesome family channels. Now the kids are growing up and saying, thanks parents, I'm broke. You worked in all the money and I got nothing while I worked and now I have no money for school. Why was my money even being used or being touched? Because you spent it all on drugs and alcohol. In August, Illinois became the first state to pass a law that would ensure financial compensation for minors, defined as children under 16 years old who are featured in vlogs or video blogs. In my home state, good old California, State Senate Steve Padilla introduced a similar bill this month, which I personally think is great, but also there must be a huge issue if people are passing shit to help parents out be a little bit better. And in Mama June's case, while she's spending this money, she wasn't even watching Alana. The sister was basically her mom. She had legal custody. Like to be really honest, if you think about it, mama, what the hell is $33,000? Not a damn thing. I mean, if you wanted to give me $30,000, I would say, this is so much money. Oh my God, thank you. And then I'd kiss your ass. But in the long run, 30,000, it's not that much. It's not gonna take you through uh, four years of college or more because what, depending on what she wants to do, you could be in college for eight years. I don't know. But That's a hell of a lot more than most 18 year olds start off with their life with. What? Oh no, she did not. <gasps> you know what? I was wondering, Who's gonna comment and say, well, that's more than what other people have who don't have $33,000. And now it's Mama June. No shit, Mama June. Of course other people don't have $33,000, especially an 18 year old. But guess what? Those 18 year olds didn't spend almost 18 years on the stage and in front of the TV because their mom put them there. This woman is one of the poorest excuses of a mother. You know what she should be doing? She should be on her knees at her daughter's feet saying, thank you. Thank you so much, honey boo child. Mwah. I kissed your toe. Thank you for supplying me with all the money I needed for that stuff I put in my nose. And then she should turn to the other side to the other daughter and say, thank you because you took this daughter under your wing when I was running around with those horrible bottom of the barrel men and in rehab and an alcoholic and spending all that money that doesn't exist anymore. This is like on the same level of those parents who don't leave you know, who don't abandon their kids fully, but they emotionally abandon them. They aren't really around. They don't connect with them. And they say, well, I didn't leave ya. You're still a shitty person and a shitty parent. 
Yeah, mama, but, but I've been on TV since I was six. Nice. And now I barely have what to show for it, mama. Well, that is the crisis that Mama June is in, well, this week. I personally think Honey Boo Boo will be just fine. She's got a name to herself. If she's smart, she can continue her legacy of Honey Boo Boo. I personally think that she will get her education. At least I hope she will get her education. And I'm glad she really wants to go to college. I think it will benefit her just in case this uh, honey boo boo thing or Alana thing, influencer thing, doesn't work out for her. It's always good to have like a backup plan. So she doesn't end up like certain members of the family. <laughs> Not saying any names, but you know, hint, hint. Hopefully this video doesn't get struck in by WeTV. You hear me? And hopefully you press the subscribe button and watch more videos of me breaking down reality shows. I just did the Love is Blind reunion. It was the most intense, the most dramatic reality reunion I've seen all the good guys are getting exposed and I was living for all of it. That video is linked below. Come hang out with me a little bit more and I will see all of you guys next time. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car in the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car in the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh. I've been on the flex since flex on.